Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. Happy Friday. I had a short week this week, but you know what? The weekend is coming and yeah, I already need one, even though I took a long weekend last week. But anyway, I'm gonna keep this video pretty short. Um, I wanted to share with you a couple um, books that I have recently acquired. So, um, I recently shared on my channel that, um, one of my book tube friends sent me this, uh, copy of Thrush Green because I really want to read the Thrush Green series. And then one of you wonderful people sent me the second one, Winter in Thrush Green. I am so excited and I just wish I knew how to thank the person who did this. <laughs> so you know who you are and thank you so so much. It was so kind of you. So I'm like super excited. I have two fresh green books. I also got a donation on my coffee, copy, never quite sure how to say that, um, page. Um, and I, I, I didn't spend all of the money, but I did get on eBay and buy the second series um, in the Amy Leduc mystery series that takes place in Paris. It's always in a different um, neighborhood in Paris. Uh, this one is Murder in Belleville. These books are by Kara Black and they're published by uh, Soho Crime Press. And I bought a few um, and I thought I had gotten the second one, but then I realized I had not. So I read the first one uh, for March Mystery Madness this year. And so I'd like to get to this maybe. Um, I don't know when. But thank you so much for making those books part of my library. I am extremely, extremely grateful. So really, really appreciate it. Um, and I just, yeah, I just wish that there was, I could send you a card or something as a way to thank you. But anyway, so what have I been reading? I've been reading another misread book, um, Summer at Fairacre. I thought this would be the perfect time to read this. And for some reason, I just have been struggling to get into it. Um, but it is misread. And so I kind of feel like eh, I'll read it little bits and pieces. And before the summer is over, I'm sure I'll have it done. <laughs> Uh, I have also been reading Trust by um, Hernan Diaz. This is one of the two Pulitzer Prize winning novels uh, this year. I also saw um, on booktube that both of the Pulitzer Prize winners, the other one being Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver, um, these are both uh, in the semifinals for the booktube prize. So that's really interesting as well. Um, but anyway, so I am halfway through this and I'm finding it really intriguing. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I'm enjoying it so far. So trying to like pick up on, it seems like there's a lot of subtlety, a lot of nuance in there. And so I'm trying to hone in on that. A few of you really stressed me that I needed to read this book slowly. So I've been trying, but I'm telling you, um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard because I, I just want to keep going. The only thing I finished this week, and thank God I finished it so I can put it in my book journal and I will never ever have it in my home again, that is The Six Types of Working Genius by Patrick Lencioni. I gave this book one star and here's why. The book itself, while it may say that it's 224 pages, some odd pages is really about 50 pages long and it's all at the end um the rest of it is an imaginary he calls it a fable but it's just this made-up story to like prove the points of his six types of working genius i spoke to one of my colleagues today who has also finished the book 
And uh, yeah, we both agree there's a lot of problems with um, this theory that he has of the six types of working genius. Um, not every employer is keen to allow their employees to use their gifts and not all positions are de designed around one of these six types of working genius. So the other thing that really, really ticked both of us off is at the very end, he talks at, at length about taking this assessment that he's created so you can figure out what your working genius you're you're supposed to everyone's supposed to have two i don't where i don't know how he decided that but anyway to figure out where your your two main ones are where your areas of frustration are areas that you're competent in um anyway so i got in line to take the working genius test and guess what it's 25 dollars to do that um which really, really ticked both of us off because the retail price, and again, I'm not saying we paid the retail price for this, but the retail price for this book is also $25. So it would have been better if we'd had one copy of the book. We all read the last 50 pages and then took the test. And you know what? If you've read that book and it worked for you and it helped you so much, and you know your employer or you felt like it was worth it to spend the $25 on the test like if it worked for you I'm super happy that's great <laughs> it just did not not the case for me um so I wanted to keep this video kind of short um but I also want to share with you my garden um because things are growing beautifully in my garden this year so I'm just gonna share some of um, the beautiful flowers in my yard right now. I wish I could take credit for them, but really they just need water and sunshine <laughs> and, and, and room to grow. I have tried to like trim things away from uh, some of them so that uh, you know they, they could flourish a little bit better, but, um, and, and many of my flowers, the clematis, which is probably the biggest plant uh, I have in the yard. Um, it has not bloomed yet. Um, the daylilies and the Asian daylily, they haven't bloomed yet, but there are some really, really lovely flowers. So here you go. I hope you enjoyed this virtual bouquet. I would love to hear about what you're reading down in the comment section. If you've read any of these books, if you have any thoughts, 
um, about these books, uh, please, please let me know if you have anything special planned for the weekend. I'd love to hear it. I just love getting to know you and interact with you in the comment section down below. Um, if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment, you can always leave an emoji or give this video a thumbs up as a way of just saying hello. Uh, so thanks so much, booktube. Remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.